When you have an appointment, an event, or a meeting that happens on a regular and recurring basis, you can set it up one time in Outlook. You don't have to set each individual activity on your calendar. Let's go look at how you can make a recurring event. First of all, go to the first date of the event. Mine is on July 7th. So on July 7th, I'm going to create a new appointment that happens every Monday. And I'll show you how you decide when to start and stop these events. So I'm going to go ahead and choose new appointment. But remember, this could be an event, this could be an appointment, this could be a meeting. And then you just set it up like normal. So my subject is get together. Because every Monday morning at the coffee shop, so the location is the coffee shop, we start, we being my team, we start at 8.30 and we end at 10 o'clock and we do this every Monday on a regular basis. Now I don't have any notes for this particular get together, but you might have notes. You could add your notes in. Now if I'm only inviting myself to this, I stop. Remember if I want this to be someone else's I, am meet, I want to create a meeting, I can invite attendees. It would work exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my calendar though. All I did just now was create an event that happens on one day. It happens on July 7th and that's it. Well, I want it to happen every Monday. I want it to recur every Monday. And so what I want to click on here in the appointment ribbon is recurrence. And so I simply click on recurrence and it says, okay, do you have the right start and stop time and do you have the proper duration? Yes, I already have that set up. How often would you like it to occur? Daily? Would you like it to be weekly? Would you like it to be monthly? Or is this like a birthday and you would like it to be yearly? And you can see how each one of the patterns changes based on what you decide. So for my weekly event, and you notice it automatically selects Monday, every week, every one week. Now if you want it every other week, you change that to a two. If every third week, you change it to a four. I do, I want it to happen every week. And when do I want it to end? no end date. Let this go on forever and ever and ever. Or end after and you can identify how many occurrences or you can put an end date on here. It's 100% up to you how you would like for that to set up. You don't have to decide. You could say no end date in sight. Just let this go on forever until I delete it and I take it off my calendar. So I'm going to make it go on forever and I'll say okay and it says recurrence occurs every Monday effective July 7th from 8.30 a.m. till 10 a.m. No ending date. And I simply say save and close. And so what I'm going to discover is I scroll through my calendar. Doesn't matter how far ahead I go. Now I'm in 2015. I'm on um, April 6, 2015. And you can see, oh, I have a typo. But I can fix that. You can see the situation. Now while I'm here, look what happens if I accidentally or intentionally move. I'm just dragging and dropping that to Tuesday. And it says, wait a minute, you change the date of this occurrence of get together to change all the dates open the series. Do I want to change just this one? If I say yes, then just that one date is changed. But it didn't affect from July 7th to forever. It didn't affect all the rest of those. What if I just decide I don't want this one occurrence? I click on the event and I hit delete on my keyboard. It says, wait a second, do you want to delete all occurrences of the recurring appointment get together or just this one? I just want to delete this occurrence. But you see, I could delete the entire series if I wanted to. No, no, just that one. So now this particular week, there is no more meeting on that particular week. What if I want to work with this? What if I have a problem like my spelling error? Then you can click on the event. You can double click to edit or you can go choose open if you would like to. And on this one I have to choose. What do I want to open? This one occurrence or do I want to open the entire series? I want to open the entire series. And when I open the entire series, now let's spell coffee, right? So let's choose C-O-F, there we go, E-E. -E. And now when I save and close it, I'm saving it and closing it on every occurrence on the calendar. See how easy that is? You just choose the date you would like, create your event, your appointment, or your meeting like you normally would, and just while you're in the process of creation, creating it, make sure you click on the recurrence button and you set up the pattern for how, how and when you would like for that event to occur. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. 
please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven-day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.